First, a landscape artist is ditching the dirt for some more formal paintings in a new series called 100 Zoom Portraits. Arts correspondent Angel Ido introduces us to the artist and her portrait of 100 Portraits. What started out as 300 screenshots of Zoom interviews from her favorite newscast has since transformed into a declaration of the times. I started um, because I could only watch the news on my phone. The bigger screens were just too much. And I could also cover up what I didn't want to look at with my hand while I was watching the news. It was during lockdown, it was intense. But I don't know that, that we suddenly got to look into each other's homes. Um, you know, famous reporters or the people they were interviewing. And I, I just, I took comfort in that and I started doing screen captures. So I'd never worked from photographs before, but there was something there. As someone who has never painted portraits, Megan Williamson never expected to complete 100 of them. One day I walked in and there were about 20 on the wall. And I thought, oh, I really thought for a moment, my friends are here. <laughs> Without realizing, she developed a routine that gave her solace and comfort during a time of uncertainty. In a way, I feel like I was partnered with these people, even though they don't know it. When I was painting from the photographs and I'd have multiple, I wasn't copying the photograph. I felt like I was climbing into their homes. So I would start noticing things when I was painting that I didn't notice just when I did the screen capture. I can't remember everybody's name, but I could tell you everything about what is in their room or what they're wearing. From February to May, Williamson made one portrait a day. She recreated living rooms across the country, even a few guests seen on Chicago Tonight. And despite growing in popularity, Williamson does not intend to offer them as individual portraits. I do think of this as one piece. The hundred pieces are one. Williamson says it's about a communal connection. To see them all together, I hope, is like the best Zoom call you've ever been on. <laughs> Our shared humanity, we were all looking into these screens. That's why we're here. We're here to make connections. And the look on that I chose to paint is they have just spoken or they're listening. And I feel like you know, we're all doing so much yelling and not listening. This is just this moment of being present and to see a hundred people being present makes me really happy. Makes me feel like it's a hopeful series. For Chicago Tonight, I'm Angel Edo. Williamson hopes to have 100 Zoom portraits debut in newsrooms across the country. Visit our website to see more of the portraits close up.